I know that in mine, yes, yeah, God. I know that Jesus is mine. Jesus. But he is truly mine, and yeah, Mine in the morning, yeah. all the day long, singing my song. Say, He's mine in the morning, He's mine in the evening, all the day long, singing my song. Jesus is mine, hey. He is truly mine, yeah, yeah, yeah. song Jesus is mine he is truly mine yeah everywhere I go everywhere I've been I know that is mine yeah Said it soon. Oh my doubt. Oh my doubt. It's soon. Oh my doubt. Oh my it comes. Oh my fear. Oh it comes. Oh my fear. Oh I say yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I say yes. I say yes, yeah, 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 yeah. There's something about that name, yeah. There's something about that name, yes. There's something about the name of Jesus. There's something about that name, yeah. I said he's the mine. Yes, he's mine. I said he's the mine, a 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 mine. Yes, he's mine. Everywhere I go, everywhere I've been, I know that he's mine. Yes, he is. He's mine. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Oh, I know you can do better than that. Good evening, everyone. Did you come to worship or did you just come to be here? Okay. okay. I, uh, I am privileged. I forgot what I was going to say. No, no, sweetheart. I am very honored and privileged to introduce the MC, Mr. Sermon, for this evening. 
But first of all, I want to let you know that I, in my mm, deepest thoughts, would never think that I would be introducing this lady. She's a wonderful person, a wonderful person. I, um, before I introduce her, I want to let you just a little bit of, of her many accolades, okay? She's the minister of the pastor's liaison at Jerusalem Church, where the pastor Gyrus is. Garris, okay, he's the shepherd over there. And she's also the treasurer, and you know she's good if she keeps somebody's money, right? <laughs> she's the treasurer of the Antioch District, okay? And she's a member of the St. Louis Black Radio Hall of Fame and the host of the Sunday morning inspiration radio show. If you want to listen to her, it's 95.5 on your FM dial. Now that's on Sundays now, okay? But most importantly, she is a child of the king. Amen. No matter what's going on, she is a child of the king. Amen. And I am going to introduce her very special person in my life for about, been about five minutes now, okay? <laughs> I'm asking everyone to stand on your feet, stand on your feet, and I want to give her a warm, hallelujah, a round of applause, because she deserves it. The radio angel herself, evangelist Mary Till. <laughs> all day. We reverence God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and I thank him for Safe Highway Travels just drove in from Springfield, Missouri from a conference, but I promised Deacon Raymond I would be here if the Lord allowed. Amen. And the weather forecast kind of scared me a little bit, but I said, you know what? I promised Deacon Raymond. Amen. <laughs> and I didn't want him to cry if I didn't show up. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you so much. I bring you greetings from the Jerusalem Missionary Baptist Church, which is a member of the Antioch District Association, where I serve as associate minister and pastoral liaison to my pastor, the Reverend J.B. Garris, and as she said, treasurer of the Antioch District. I'm not that good with 
<laughs> bookkeeping, but I am trustworthy and he know I won't spend the money. <laughs> so that's how I got that position. And also I bring you greetings from Old School 95.5, Sunday morning inspirations from 6 a.m. till 12 noon every Sunday morning, getting you ready to make your way to Pleasant Green, the very first church I ever attended when we moved to St. Louis in 1949. I got my start right here when Reverend G.H. Pruitt was the pastor. And when he opened his mouth, I thought he was going to engulf all of us up because he had a growl in his voice. Anybody know? A few of y'all remember, right? And Miss Clark had the primary unit and the sunbeams over there on the other side. I was a sunbeam. Yes, I was. And my daddy was baptized up in the baptizing pool one Easter Sunday morning right here at Pleasant Green. Amen. So Amen. I thank you for having a little girl that started here in 1949. Well, and here we are in 2017, and you can see that God is a keeper. Yes, he is. So we recognize all of the staff here, all of you in your respective places. If you're about kingdom work, I honor and salute you and especially this music aggregation led by our one and only friend over here, Brother Fitzpatrick. Let's give them a round of applause. Don't they look good? Yeah. Brother Fitzpatrick, the organ used to be right up there. Sure Way up there. Yeah. Didn't it, y'all? Yes, it is. I'm telling you what I know. <laughs> but God has brought us a mighty long way. We're gonna have a good time since you pressed your way. You may as well get ready to let go and let God. Cause he's been too good for us to drive all the way down to Pleasant Green to sit up and act like we don't know who he is. Is there anybody in here that don't know Jesus? Raise your hand. I want you to come and sit with me on the front seat. That's where we used to sit when we were on the Mona's bench. We need to go back to the Mona's bench. Some of us right. that That's profess right. and confess him, some of us need to come back to the Mona's bench because we've gotten too sedity. We've gotten too important. We've gotten a few degrees behind our names, Minister Joe Price. We've gotten so suburbanized that we have forgot that it was God that woke us up this morning. It was God that brought us through the storm and the rain. It was God who brought us through the bad times and the good times, and he is worthy of all the glory, worthy of all the honor, and show not worthy of all the praise. I came to have a good time. Look, he just brought me over 200 miles from, K uh, from Springfield, so I'm excited. A welcome by Sister Jeanette Brown, and it will be followed by a response, and then I will be right back. Let's give Sister Jeanette Brown a round of applause. It's Friday night, y'all. It's Friday night. And look where you are in the house of the Lord. Ain't you glad to be here? Didn't have to be. Didn't have to be. He allowed us to be here one more time. You know God is a good God and I praise him because he's been really good to me and I see you and I know he's been good to you. My task here is to welcome you. So whether you're from Pleasant Green or whether you're from other churches near and far, I want to welcome you to this concert to this musical presentation by this wonderful choir, Pleasant Green Mass Choir. You are in for a treat, and we open our doors wide for you to come in and for you to feel a part of this worship, because it is worship. It's praise and worship. 
And we ought to be able to do that together, whether we know each other, whether we PGers or non pg it doesn't matter. Because in the end, we all gonna be in the same place, I pray. I pray we're going to be, I know where I'm going, I hope you do too. So I want to welcome all of you to join in and be a part of this. If you want to clap your hands, if you want to wave your hands, if you want to stomp your feet, whatever it is, however the spirit moves you, let him have his way. And feel like you can do that here because we worship the Lord. God bless you. Thank you so much for uh, accepting and responding to such a hearty welcome. And now we will have uh, selections. This, this is a three-part singing concert, if you will. And the first part will be, Lord, we thank you, and a medley of total praise, and I opened my mouth to the Lord. Let's receive with a surround, uh, an surrounding loud applause for the Pleasant Green Missionary Baptist Church Choir. No, 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 that's not good enough. Come on, let's make some noise.
Show.